Spinners and Sharks, we're all masked up, and we're gonna go ahead and turn a pearl into gold. Get ready, let's go. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Hey there, Spinners and Sharks, it's Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. And if you like me, you like two things in Vegas. One, you like having a good time in Vegas, and two, you like not spending a lot of money to have that good time. And one of my top tips to not have this problem is to get a loyalty card. They usually offer you different perks like free parking, free rooms, meal credits, and other little bits and bobs to make you feel special. And what's more is that your average casino club will have different tier levels that will offer different benefits as you advance. A good example is the Cosmo Identity Membership. At the basic velvet level, you won't get much, just a discount on a room every so often. But once you advance to a higher tier, for example Sterling, they offer deeper discounts. Like 2 for 1 vouchers for the buffet, extra free play for gaming, and even 2 for 1 event tickets. And as you advance further in the ranks by gambling and spending more money at the property, you'll be offered free rooms, wave resort fees, and even special VIP line access. That seems like a really good reason to stick with Cosmo, right? But what if you see a hotel on the strip that you really like? One that has fancy fountains, or a sexy pool that doubles as a nightclub, or giant gold statues, or even a friggin' volcano in the front yard. Maybe you want to check them out. Well, one thing you have to keep in mind is the fact that you shouldn't expect the red carpet when you show up. You've invested a lot of your precious vacation time and money into Cosmo, and they've offered you the dividend of the VIP treatment. But you won't get that at Caesars, MGM, or even a downtown casino. Not right off the bat. You'll need to do the same thing there. Sign up for a player's card, play for hours, stay for a few weekends, then sit at home and wait for the mailer to show up on your doorstep. Or will you? This is where status matching comes in. Status matching is a casino sneaky, but not so sneaky way of getting you in the door at a new property and earning your return business right away. And they do this by offering you perks that are competitive with your current home casino. Let's go back to our identity membership example. If you're, let's say a gold member at Cosmo, but you're heading to Aria for a poker tournament, you could stay at Cosmo and get the same benefits as normal. But Aria wants you to stay there, drink there, eat there, and if you leave, they want you to game and indulge at their many sister properties. So what MGM Resorts and Aria are going to do for you is this. They'll status match you to their M-Life Gold as well. They'll give you a room upgrade on your free room when you check in, offer you a free buffet pass, give you a free show ticket, and they'll cut you to the front of the line at any of their other 12 Las Vegas properties. And that's all before you step foot into the poker room. That way you get all the perks of your home casino at this foreign casino, and you haven't lost any time or money. What a deal. Now that you know what a status match is, here's how you do it. There are a couple different ways you can status match. It depends on the club, but these are the most surefire ways of pulling it off. The first way you can status match now is online. Yes, there are actually companies that partner together to help you match your status back and forth. Let's take Caesars for example. Caesars is in a partnership with Wyndham. I happen to hold a high status with Wyndham. So what Caesars will do is allow me to match my status with Wyndham by simply entering my Caesars card into this engine on their site. I fill in the form, click submit, wait a few days, and boom. I'm an instant Caesars Diamond member with room discounts, free show tickets, and an instant $100 Caesars celebration dinner without playing a single hand of blackjack. Another way to do it is by showing up to the Players Club. The example I have in front of us is M-Life and Caesars. Here in my hand I have an M-Life Pearl membership card, but I like the look of that gold a lot better. I could try to earn another 50,000 M-Life tier credits, or I could reach into my pocket, pull out my Caesars Diamond card, and march it over to the desk. All you have to do is show up with your photo ID and a competitor's card at a tier above yours and ask them to match it. Once they verify your identity, they'll check to see what the equivalent card is and match you. Simple as that. The final reliable way to do this is to find a host. This may seem like it's overkill, but if you're a gambler with a track record, even if it's small and focused on a single casino, you're probably getting comps. And any host worth their salt is going to try and bring you over to their casino by matching those offers as best he can. Okay, so we've covered what a status match is, who gets them, and where and when to get one. So now the last question is this. Why in space would a casino even do this for you without you gambling? 
Well, the answer is pretty simple. They want your business. The whole comp system and the loyalty card system is just to do that, to build loyalty. That's why places like Caesars Palace, MGM Grand, and even Derek Stevens Downtown Casinos make sure that you can use their cards at their own sister properties. That way you can enjoy a little built-in variety and focus your play in spending there. And if you're on the fence about switching properties, but they one up the competition while asking nothing in return, you're a lot more likely to put some skin in the game. But Ace, you may ask, if you don't gamble and you only take the free stuff and run, aren't you kind of scamming the company? And to that I say, that's a risk they have to take. Don't be surprised if they don't dangle any carrots in front of you next month to try and get you back, but if you do stay three days at Caesars Palace, enjoy a dining credit and complimentary bottle of wine, but didn't find a game you like to play, then oh well, no business is without risk. Think about it this way, you can't catch a fish without baiting a hook, and no matter how many fish you may or may not have missed throughout the day, when you're cooking the big one that you caught for dinner, you're not too worried about how much bait you have left. Alright spinners and sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's tutorial and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Next time we come back, I want to go ahead and discuss a little gambling tip that might save you some money. Until next time though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, and I'm wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spinning you guys. Viva, Ace of Vegas. 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 Viva, Ace of Vegas.